We are starting our recital with two songs by Joseph Haydn. They are two of the English canzonets which Haydn wrote after one of his visits to London. He in fact wrote two sets of six and the words uh, are by a friend of his, uh, Anne Hunter. The first is called The Sailor's Song. The second of these two canzonets by Joseph Haydn is called Sympathy. Come. 
Now, two songs by Franz Schubert. First, Liebes Botschaft, Love's Message. The poet asks the little brook to take messages of love to his sweetheart. So silbern und hell, heilst zur Geliebten so munter und schnell. Ach, trag das Büchlein, mein Gute, sei du, bringe die Größe des Fernen ihr zu. Ihre Blumen im Garten gepflegt, die sie so lieblich am Busen trägt, und ihre Rosen im purpurner Blut, becht ein Erquicke mit kühlender Flut, und ihre Rosen im purpurner Blut, becht ein Erquicke mit kühlender Flut. The other song by Schubert is Gesang des Hachners, the poem by Goethe from Wilhelm Meister, and it's the song of the old harper who sings of his loneliness, yet it's never loneliness because his grief and pain are always with him. Only will he be really alone when he's in the grave. Will sich 
schwer Einsamkeit ergibt, ach, der ist bald allein. Ein jeder lebt, ein jeder lebt. Now, one of Robert Schumann's most famous songs, Mondnacht, Moonlight.
Now, four songs by Benjamin Britten. These four come from the set called Winter Words, which is a setting of lyrics and ballads by Thomas Hardy, composed by Mr. Britten two years ago. And the first is a landscape called At Day Close in November. And a late bird wings across Where the pines like waltzers waiting, waiting Give their black heads a toss Beach leaves that yellow the noon time Float past like specks, like specks in the eye I set every tree in my June time, and now they obscure the sky. And the children who ramble through here conceive that there never has been a time when no tree. Though tall trees grew here, that none will in time be seen. The Little Old Table with elbow on me. That is the way you speak, speak the way you speak of one who gave you to me. You, you, little table, little table, she brought, brought, brought me with her own hand as she looked at me with a thought at me with a thought that I did not understand. Whoever owns it or not and hears it will never know what a history has. Upon this creek, 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 from long ago. The Choir Master's Burial or The Tenor Man's Story. He often would ask us that when he died, after playing so many to their last rest, if part of us any should hear abide, and it would not ask us, we would with our lutes play over him by his grave brim the song he liked best the one whose sense youths mong frame and perhaps we should seem to him in death's dream like the Seraphine. 
As soon as I knew that his spirit was gone, I thought this his due and spoke thereupon. I think, said the vicar, a red service quicker than vials out of doors in these frosts and halls. That old-fashioned way requires a fine day, and it seems to me it had better not be. Hence that afternoon, though never knew he that his wish could not be. To get through it faster, they buried the master without any tune. But t'was said that when at the dead of next night the vicar looked out. There struck on his ken thrown round about. Where the frost was graying the headstone grass, a band all in white like the same in church glass singing and playing singing singing and playing the ancient stave by the Such the tenor man told when he had grown old. The fourth of these songs by Benjamin Britten, settings of poems by Thomas Hardy, is Proud Songsters. Thrushes, thrushes, finches, and nightingales. <laughs> the thrushes sing as the sun is going, and the finches whistle in ones and pairs. And as it gets dark, loud nightingales in bushes pipe. Pipe as they can when April wears, as if all time were there. These are brand new birds of twelve months growing, which a year ago or less than twain. No finches were, no nightingales, no thrushes. But only particles of grain and earth and air and rain. And to finish our uh recital of songs in English and German, two folk songs arranged by Benjamin Britten. First, an old Irish tune to which W. B. Yeats wrote the words, Down by the Sally Gardens. Did me. 
Our last song is an old English song arranged by Benjamin Britten, and it comes from the 18th century. It's the old song about the politician who rose too rapidly for the 18th century, the ploughboy. As simple as may be, and next a merry ploughboy, I whistled over Lee. But now a saucy footman, I strapped in worsted lace, and soon I'll be a butler and weigh my jolly face. When steward I'm promoted, I'll snip the tradesman's bills. My master's coffers empty, my pockets full to fill. Chariot, so great a man I'll be, so great a man, so great a man, so great a man I'll be. You forget the little cowboy that whistled o'er the lee. You forget the little cowboy that whistled o'er the lee. I'll buy votes at elections, and when I've made my pelt, I'll stand for for the parliament and then vote in myself. Whatever's good for me, sir, I never will oppose. And when my eyes are sold off, why then I'll sell my nose. I'll joke, harangue, and paragraph with speeches charm the ear. And when I'm tired of my legs, then I'll sit down up here in court or city on the so great a man I'll be. So great a man, so great a man, so great a man I'll be. You forget the little ploughboy that whistled o'er the lee. You forget the little ploughboy that whistled o'er the lee. 